Hey everyone, this is Lenny here. Time for a brand new trailer reaction and man, I am ready to get into this. We're going to take a look at the trailer for the new A24 erotic thriller, I guess you can call it that, Baby Girl, and this stars Nicole Kidman. And I've been hearing a lot of buzz about this. I think Kidman won the Best Actress Award for this movie at the Venice Film Festival this year. So this has been getting a lot of buzz just on that. And the premise as well. So this uh, film follows Kidman. She's the CEO of a company and she gets into sort of a forbidden romance with their intern and it sort of gets into uh, sexual power dynamics. So uh, this is a, a hotbed topic uh, when we're talking about, you know, high power people uh, that use their uh, their power for, for sexual favors, for sexual gain, and, and to use that power against those, um, you know, under them um, and, and, and everything like that. So it's going to be interesting and in seeing uh, how Nicole Kidman is going to play this off. Uh, I'm expecting that she's going to be one hell of a villain, or maybe there this this movie's going to explore this in, in more uh, three dimensional terms, and maybe not take a side. But uh, I, I am interested. I, I've heard that this is uh, a bit of a powder powder keg of a film, so I am ready to uh, to get into this and see what this film brings to the table. So let's just go. This is the trailer for Baby Girl. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Good girl, good girl. Okay. Being a CEO means being a collaborator and a nurturer. Don't you have to be at work? <laughs> Everyone is just waiting for okay, me. This is a Christmas pressure. movie. Is now a good time to introduce the interns? Yeah. Hey, how'd you get that dog to calm down? I gave it a cookie. You always have cookies on you. Why do you want one? <laughs> Who decided to okay, be a part of that mental program? You have seven minutes. So, how did it start? I see myself as a power-hungry personality. You think that's what I am? I think you like to be told what to do. Sorry, I didn't mean to. That was incredibly inappropriate. Your behavior is unacceptable. Is it? Oh boy. This is interesting. This, we need to set some rules that you and I both agree on. Did you order this? Starting with, I tell you what to do and you do it. And if I don't? Get on your knees. No! What? Get on your knees now. I'm... <laughs> is that what you want? This is you insane. Hurry, I don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? I think I have power over you. Because I could make one call and you lose everything. Does that turn you on when I say oh. oh, hey, you forgot your laptop at the office. Mom, can Mary sleep on it? That reminds me of the boy next door with uh, J-Lo. Wanna stop? It's like a better version of that. You seem liberated. I've never experienced anything like this. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, that was the trailer for Baby Girl, and yeah, that was totally not what I expected. Everything I just said earlier was completely wrong, and I am pretty okay with that. So yeah, Nicole Kidman does play a CEO of a business. It seems like she has a lot of her shit together in terms of her life. She's married to Antonio Banderas. They have a couple kids. It looks like they have a, a perfect life. But uh, Harris Dickerson, Dickinson um, comes into her life and uh, it seems like everything shifts because she is attracted to him. He is attracted to her. And what I was thinking was this was going to be a play on power dynamics from her perspective, her being a CEO, but it was inverted. He is the one who has the power because it's like he's bribing her. 
and and basically saying, hey, you will do anything that I say because I can just fuck up your whole family life and blow everything up. So it's, it's a very interesting dynamic. Uh, and this uh, movie is being sold on not just that, but on the, uh, the sensual and sexy nature uh, of the, the, the movie. It, it does seem like that uh, Nicole uh, Kidman and uh, Harris Dickinson is, is going to have a lot of like sexual chemistry. But, you know, there's also a lot of duality at play with Nicole Kidman trying to juggle her her, her real life with, with her family and, you know, this this fantasy uh, sexual lifestyle that she's uh, that she's playing. She's playing some dangerous games here. And, and we're going to see how, you know, the, the consequences are, are going to unfold and how everything's going to come to a head. So I'm anticipating a wild ride in terms of the story and the plot, but great acting as well, some great direction, and just an overall general uh, amazing story. Like I said, this has been getting so much buzz, so I'm expecting this to uh, to have some great acting. Again, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, Nicole Kidman brings to the role. She looks really vulnerable. She looks totally lost and she looks um, completely, you know, all, all over the place. And, and I'm uh, very interested in seeing how her character is going to evolve. This looks like another great performance from someone who a lot of people will be like, oh, she's too old, blah, 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 blah. We just saw Demi Moore in The Substance and we got Nicole Kidman here. So whoever says that, you know, actors like they, they, they stop at 50 or whatever, they need to fuck off and jump off a bridge because... Clearly, we got some women, you know, in the 50s, in their 50s, still doing it and doing it big. So shout out to them. But yeah, those are my initial thoughts and feelings on A24's Baby Girl. And yeah, since this is an A24 movie, I'm expecting this to be wild too. Yeah. <laughs> but those are my initial thoughts and feelings for A24's Baby Girl. What did you guys think of the trailer? Share your thoughts. Leave your comments like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.